I love setting goals for myself. And the greatest thing about running is that you can always improve upon your last performance. It did not take a lot to convince me to participate in this race. I really wanted to show everyone how much we can do, you know, here at Walter Reed. The young men here, are, they're astonishing. Our team's getting together to run in memory of Chris, my husband, who was a Marine in uh, 1st Battalion, 6th Marines Regiment. I'm not a runner at all, but what better to honor his memory than to run specifically the Marine Corps Marathon. It will be a constant reminder of an accomplishment, a goal that I set for myself and I followed through and I finished. So every single time, it doesn't matter how old I am in my life, I will always be able to look at that medal and say, I did it, I finished it. We came from Ithaca, New York. Um, we drove down here last night to Hamilton, Virginia, um, where Chris's Aunt Lenny lives. So we'll all be able to get together and get excited for this run. It's gonna be my first marathon. And super nervous, but it'll be the family of us and um, a couple of Marines from Chris's unit. We'll all be running together as Team Chris, so. As a civilian in this race, uh, it's, a, it's an honor to be able to be a part of it. Um, the level of, of patriotism and the gratitude that I have for the service members and for their spouses and the families that make sacrifices every single day. October 17th, 2011, was when I got injured. The recovery process can be long. We didn't even know if I was gonna be able to do certain events. Next thing you know, more than capable. It's, I've been very fortunate, really have. My family was proud to see when I enlisted in the Marine Corps. I'm really excited to see you know, the potential I could bring. <laughs> um, we'll see, well, we'll see how well I do on the race day. I've run the marathon five times. This'll be number six for me. Family is everything. Having family at your races, having smiling faces, children. They're just thousands of people, thousands of supporters there, spectators. Very loud. Everyone's anticipating the start of the race. Everyone's super excited to get started. The national anthem leading to the howitzer is something that's really special. It's just an amazing event. Running on 110, some of the bridge overpasses, you'll see all kinds of signs. You'll hear a lot of spectators cheering. There seems to be a lot more patriotism surrounding the race. You see a lot more uh, United States of America flags. You hear a lot more uh, chants, whether it's hurrah, USA. It's a very patriotic event, and you're really overcome by the sentiment of finishing a very challenging race and having a blast doing it. When you see the, the camouflage gear that's worn and all of the Marines supporting the event, not only at the aid stations, but all around the event, it's really something special. You have 30,000 runners, you have uh, over 2,000 Marines uh, that are supporting it, and they're dispersed across this 26.2 mile course across the uh, metropolitan area of DC, so it's, uh, it's a pretty daunting task. You come across so many people who run with, run for different causes or for people who have inspired them. You have people who are just overcoming really large obstacles. And it's like, it's their accomplishment, but you're somehow just a part of their life in that brief moment in time. At high speed, low drag. Hopefully I can carry that this weekend. Hand cycles have a hard time going uphill. So if you see me struggling, just wait, I'll get over it. I'll, if I don't get over it, I'll get through it. Either way, I'm getting across the finish line. I've had friends that did it. Some of those friends aren't here with us today, and I really look forward to you know, showing their mothers and their fathers, hey, there's other guys still out there doing it with them. So I'll do it this time. To run with Chris's brothers, you know, it's an extra push of adrenaline. It's, it's to know that those were the guys that were with him in Afghanistan. Yeah, they went through it all with him, and to be able to push and to run with them is just a privilege to me. And it, it doesn't let me come up with excuses. It'll just be, you know, cry if you have to when you're running, but finish, so. The symbolism of the husband supporting his wife in the military, the symbolism of my husband saying, you did it, most of the time that's me for him. I have to be that support for him. So for them to award you like that, you know, you did a great job from your own spouse, that's the best thing you could ever hear, you know, in your life.
I'm gonna push and finish this marathon for him and I know that he'd be proud. So we're gonna do this without question. Yeah. I got injured one year ago this week, so I'm doing pretty well. The cheering from all the, the crowds that came out today, and that, that really felt real good to, to be racing by all these amazing people that come out on a Sunday morning with their coffee and their kids to wave at us. It means a lot. Just how supportive the community is for people that are doing this. Not just for the Marine Corps, but for all service members, their families, their spouses. They don't even know you, and they just give you love. That's the best feeling in the world. I knew she could do it from day one, and this is one of the first uh, New Year's resolutions that she's kept. <laughs> so I'm very proud of her. <laughs> Being able to come down here as a group, uh, training together, racing together, finishing together, trading stories together after the race, something special. I can't believe I just finished that whole marathon. <laughs> Knowing that I did this for him, he would be, I can't imagine him having words, so I'm just so glad, so glad. Receiving the medal, you know, it's awesome to actually have this on, and I know that once I relax and look at this at home, I'll be like, wow, cool. <laughs> it's a difficult journey, it is very difficult, but if you have determination and the will and faith that you can get through it, you can do it.